Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I hunt pronghorn, what gear I use, my favorite spots, tent locations, and everything else you will need to know about the pronghorn antelope. With the console release of Silver Ridge Peaks coming up soon, I figured this could help a lot of you out. But before we start, if you guys enjoy what I do here, consider subscribing and turning notifications on. And if you want to help my channel grow, be sure to like the video, because liking the video shows YouTube that you like the content, and that in turn makes the video get shown to more people. And this goes for any YouTuber that you guys watch, if you enjoy their content, liking their videos is one of the biggest ways that you guys can help but with that being said let's get straight into today's video now I actually already recorded this video once and I realized that my audio was completely messed up which is very unfortunate because we actually got a pretty big piebald pronghorn while recording that so this is actually the second time that I'm recording this little guide but anyway we'll kind of go over everything I'll do my best to try and remember everything I went over in the first one so we'll start out with the guns now for the pronghorn, I would once again recommend the M1 or the 30 out 6. They are the two best that you will want to use. You can also use the 6.5, the Solokin, the 243, even the 3030 if you wanted to, but like I've said in the past, lever actions aren't the best. But if you feel like using them, feel free to. The 4570 is also pretty good against them. Uh, you can use the 270, the 223 even, although I would never recommend using the 223 for anything. It's just not that great of a gun in my personal opinion. It doesn't have the power you need. But I think that pretty much covers it for guns. There isn't really a ton of difference between these and mule deer. And as you guys know, if you've seen my mule deer guide, I went over the guns in there and it's, it's basically the same. There's not really anything changed there. But when it comes to calls, there's not really any calls for the pronghorn, unfortunately. Which, it's realistic though, because there isn't calls for them in real life either. Uh, when it comes to consumables, I'd once again bring along first aid kit and sentinel limiter. They're always good to have with you. Especially since here on Silver Ridge, you'll run into a lot of cliffs and stuff. And so it's always good to have the first aid kits just in case you end up falling off of one. But that pretty much covers it for this stuff. You will need to bring some tents along with you just because a lot of these locations I'm going to show, it does help a lot if you have some tents. So we're going to start out with this little spot down here. This lake at the bottom right corner is one of the better pronghorn lakes. It's got a lot of different zones for them, and most of them are out in the open, so they're easily visible. Let's see if we can spot a few of them. I just recently switched the time, so I don't know if they'll be quite to their zones yet, but you can get them right here, and there's a couple actually. So that is right here. You can also get them over in this little field right there, and you can get them directly across over on that bank. And you can get them over here. So they can really be pretty much all around this lake. It's just overall a fantastic spot to go for pronghorn. So this is one of the better places that I would highly suggest you check out if you're trying to get yourself a good pronghorn. But next up, let's head over to this area right here. This is actually the starter lodge. So for most people, you would be starting here and running up to these lakes right here, going to this one and then up to this one. But I have a tent, so we're just going to fast travel to that. I would highly suggest putting a tent right here. It makes it so much easier because you can just spawn in, run a couple feet, and then immediately you're able to see the pronghorn that drink there. You're able to see the ones that are across the lake, which are right there and there. And then there's usually a herd that drinks right there, but it doesn't look like they've arrived yet. So there is at least three or four different spots on this lake that you can get your pronghorn also. That's one thing you're going to notice about most of these lakes that have the pronghorn. There's usually two to three zones at each lake, and that's actually a pretty good looking level four. I think we're going to go ahead and take him out. I do want to get some of these guys down for respawns while we're making this guide. But this lake in particular, one of the better ones to start out on. The past two that I've shown are going to be very close to the starting lodge, so you'll probably be heading to these first. Alright, here is that little pronghorn. This little level 4 right here. 84.50, not too bad. Double lunged it with the M1. And this is why you want to use the M1. It absolutely drops them on the spot. And the quick follow-up shots make it a lot easier to get a second or even third pronghorn down before they spook, so that's why I would highly recommend the M1. Especially if you have the recoil perks, it makes it even better. You can still use it without the recoil perks. You will have to compensate a little bit more though. So that's the only issue there is you'll have to compensate for the recoil. But next up we have this little lake right here that is directly above this one that we were just at. 
I have a tent up here on the road because it makes it so you can just look right down on the lake and see the majority of the animals that are there. But just from here, there's usually some pronghorn drinking in the trees. Uh, they're not there at the moment, but right here you'll get them. You'll get them in these trees. Uh, you'll get them on this side right here. You'll get them on this bank here. You'll get them kind of in these trees. And pretty much around this entire lake you can have pronghorn. Another fantastic spot. As you can see, right now we only have a couple zones that show pronghorn, but I have had them over here. And I've had them over here also. So they can be at a variety of locations at this lake. Overall, just a fantastic spot. And there is a couple stands already built here, so you can build those if you don't want to use up a tripod. That's another awesome thing about Silver Ridge is they have some really good placement for their stands. One of the few maps where the stand placement actually makes sense and is pretty much always useful. But we've already looked at this, so let's head over to this lake next. It's also relatively close to the start, and there is another lodge right by it, so we're going to fast travel to that lodge. And right after you get to the lodge, you're going to want to look directly across. There will be some pronghorn there sometimes. Uh, you can get some very close to you, like right on this hillside. They can be further down at the end there. I've seen them at this corner too, so... This is another one where there's just a ton of them. But I'm assuming they have a later drink time. They probably start at 8.30, so that's why we have nothing here at the moment. But like I was saying, fantastic lake. Minimum four spots for pronghorn at this one. Just overall really, really good. And then after you go to this one, you can go down to this one right here because there's some more pronghorn zones as you see right here. Then there's one right there. And I'm pretty sure I've seen them over at this corner too. In fact, I know for a fact I have because I've got a video where we actually killed a diamond from this area. And there was a troll level 4 that was right there. That was just barely off of diamond. But anyway, once you get over to this lake. Over here is the spot that sometimes has them but not as commonly. Uh, directly across right here, you can find pronghorn. And then you can also find them a little bit further over once I get to a spot where I can actually see it. Uh, right here. Right there is some pronghorn and then they can be there sometimes too. Really depends on where they choose to drink. So basically these two lakes, they can be around the whole lake. That It pretty much goes for any of the lakes that we've shown. They can be around pretty much the entire lake. So, so far we've shown this one, this one, this one. Uh, this one and this one. So next we're gonna go to this lake right here This one's probably one of the more open lakes So it'll be pretty easy to just quickly take a look at it see if you have any pronghorn and then move on to the next area One of the easiest spots to hunt by far because the pronghorn only drink in two spots at this lake Which is right here as You can see by that little guy right there. So that's gonna be right here on the map and then they also drink like around the these trees right here which is about over here as you can see I haven't seen any at the other side of the lake so I don't believe they can be there but things can always change so just keep that in mind expansive worlds does change their zones around from time to time so in the future this might change and if it does I'll mark this as an outdated guide next up we got this lake right here this is one of the larger lakes that has the pronghorn. And it's one that I really don't hunt too much because I'll show you real quickly. They tend to be in these thick weeds right here, the thick reeds. They do sometimes drink up here a little bit further like they are now, but not super often, unfortunately. So I don't usually go here except for when I'm actually grinding for diamonds and rares. I'll go to pretty much every place I can, but as you can see, this one is just a lot harder to get them because they're all tucked away. So yeah, there's quite a few of them here though. There's definitely a lot of them. They're just very hidden and hard to get to. There's also a pronghorn zone further down. Uh, I believe there's one right here and one right here. As you can see, they're a lot further down. I'm not going to run all the way over there because it would take quite a bit of time, but I'll show you from right here where it is. Right over there, you can get pronghorn. And then a little bit further down, right about there, you can get them also. 
So this lake's got a ton of them, it's just harder to hunt. Next we're gonna head over to this little lake here in the bottom middle-ish. It doesn't have a ton of pronghorn once again, but it is a good one to check because they're usually in a pretty open spot. You can get them right here along this bank. There's a couple different spots that they sometimes will decide to drink at. But you got their little zone right here, and then they can also be directly across from where I am. I would recommend putting up a tent here like I have because it makes it so much easier to get to this spot. And you're going to want to be around here because this area down here is also very good. Uh, we'll go ahead and run down there after we check this little lake. But so basically, your pronghorn are either going to be in these trees or right on this little bank as they are now for this first zone. And the second zone, they're going to be across kind of where this bison is. Looks like mine aren't here yet. Actually, they're coming in right now, so they're a little bit late to their zone. But you guys get the idea. They'll be on this open bank right here, so they're very, very easy to see. So it's one of the easier lakes to spot them at, like I was saying. And then we're going to head down here next. It's a little bit of a run, but once you hunt this lake right here, I would usually run straight down to this other spot down here because it also has a decent amount of pronghorn. There is a couple spots that you're going to have some issues recovering them though because it actually is out of the zone to where you actually can't really get to it because it'll give you that, uh, that notification saying that you're out of the map and you'll have 10 seconds to get back in the map or it'll respawn you. So that is the one issue, but if you use an ATV, you can sometimes be quick enough to claim it and get out. But you will have to be very fast. Alright, so I don't actually see them this time, but normally they'll be kind of like here. And down a little bit further, but there's none here at the moment, so maybe they fixed that. They might have changed that to where they don't drink out here anymore, because before, there was pronghorn that would drink on this hillside, and you couldn't actually claim them unless you were really quick with the ATV. So maybe they've actually changed that. That's good to know. So I guess don't really worry about coming down here for pronghorn. There doesn't really seem to be anything. Which I kind of like that. I think it's better that way. That way we don't have to worry about them being out of bounds. So anyway, the next pronghorn lake that we're going to head to is I believe the last one actually. There honestly isn't a ton of places that pronghorn can be. I'm trying to remember if they can be at either of these lakes, but I'm pretty sure they can't. We'll real quickly check and I'll just make sure. Oh, we actually can have pronghorn here. This is a lake that every time I've been here, there is absolutely nothing. Like it didn't really matter what time I went at. I just never found much here except for a couple bears. But we actually do have some pronghorn here. So I'm glad I decided to real quickly check this map or uh, this zone again, because it does look like there actually is a pronghorn drinking zone here. So that is this little lake right here. It's actually just down from the lodge a little ways, so this one should be a relatively easy one to get to. Looks like we do have a couple pronghorn here. Not a ton though. Well, actually, there's the rest of them. Alright, so they do have their drink zone spread out a little bit, it looks like. But that's good to know. It's good to know that there actually is a pronghorn zone here. I would imagine they can probably be here too, so we'll actually go check that out. Alright, so real quickly before we get down to this lake, I just wanted to say that one thing to keep in mind is that everybody's map is a little bit different in Call of the Wild. Not everybody's going to have the exact same need zones. So this guy is just kind of a general, a general guide to go off of, of what I've found at least. There might be some zones that I have that you don't have, and there might be some zones that you have that I don't have. So... It's one of those things where everybody's a little bit different and if you guys have any zones that I didn't cover in here, be sure to let me know down in the comments so that I can include it next time I do a guide like this. But we got at least one pronghorn over here, so got another pronghorn spot. It's good to know that these lakes that, didn't, that I didn't see anything at during the release day of SRP when I kind of scoured the map to try and find them. It's good to know that this lake and the other one that we just checked actually do have some pronghorn, even though they didn't when I first looked at them. So that's definitely cool to find out. Definitely cool to find out. So I think we're pretty much done. We've only got one more lake to cover, and it's this lake that's up here. Now, this one right here, I've never seen a single pronghorn at. Absolutely never seen anything here or here, but this lake right here, 
just might be the best lake in the game for pronghorn it's absolutely fantastic you will find so many pronghorn here i think every time i've gone here there's been at least 30 to 40 pronghorn it's just a crazy zone all right so we are down here and ooh, that's actually a pretty nice mule deer but it's running off uh there's one of the pronghorn right there another pronghorn there real quickly get a better angle Ooh, there's actually a lot of mule deer here i don't think i covered this spot in the mule deer guide you guys let me know if i did i don't remember there being this many mule deer here before that's good to know let's go ahead and kill one of these pronghorn though so we can actually get them spooked out because these ones do hide in the reeds pretty often so the second i kill something a bunch are going to run out All right, so let's take a look now. As you guys can see, the second you take a shot, animals everywhere. This is why this is my favorite spot to hunt pronghorn. It really is just a crazy good spot. And apparently it's just as good for mule deer, which I never knew about. I think this is actually the first time that I've seen them here and I hunt this area quite a bit for pronghorn. So I'm surprised I actually hadn't noticed this before. It could be a pretty new zone though, because as you guys know, zones do change around from time to time. If you hunt a species a lot, you will notice their zones switch. It happens to me a lot with whitetail because of how hard I grinded them for the longest time. There we go, we got that other level 4 down. Let's go claim these two. Alright, here's that first one that we took down. A decent little level 4 pronghorn for sure. I do really like how this horn looks. I wish this one was the same size though. Then it would have been really close to diamond. Definitely a cool looking pronghorn though. I just absolutely love the pronghorn. That's why I wanted to do a guide on them before anything else. But I will probably put up a poll in the near future. On what species you guys would like me to make a guide on next. Because I really want to make a guide th that you guys want to see. I want to make it something that you actually want to watch. And so, let me know what species you'd like to see. But here is that other level 4 pronghorn. This one was a little smaller if I remember. Actually, that was bigger. 93.5. I think that's bigger at least. It's definitely got the bigger cutters on it. Good looking pronghorn though. Very good looking pronghorn. Not too bad at all. But I think that's going to do it for this guide. We covered every spot that the pronghorn can be at. Because they really are only down in this lower part of the map. They can't be in the rest of the map, unfortunately. They kind of stick to the plains. So that's why they're one of the easier species to find on this map. Now, I have gone along this bank before, but it's just such a steep slope that none of them really drink there. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen anything along this bank drinking. It's just not a area that they usually go. But yeah, I think that about does it for everything. Uh, I'm probably going to include a clip from the first time that I recorded this guide because I killed a pretty big piebald pronghorn when I was recording this the first time, but like I was saying at the beginning of the video, the audio completely bugged out, so it is going to have some really scuffed audio, but I'll probably include it here at the end just so that you all can see it. But anyway, in case I don't, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.